everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another Disneyland Paris vlog. I am just walking up to the Disneyland Park. We're here for extra magic hours. Extra magic hours right now are between half eight and half nine. We've just missed opening. I'd say we're maybe 8.35 right now. It looks like there's not much of a queue to get in, which is good. We're coming on through. I'm still so impressed with all of these 30th anniversary decorations. I think they're so pretty. Now we wanted to actually go and have a look at some of the merch. There was a massive queue yesterday. You can see there's actually a queue forming already. So over on the right hand side there, there's a queue forming to head into the shop that has all of the anniversary stuff. But I'd say the queue is probably already like 30, 40 people deep outside. So we're actually gonna just continue on down Main Street. We're not gonna head into that shop. Uh, we do wanna go at some point and have a look at the anniversary merch, but we're gonna lose some precious ride time if we do it now. So hopefully we'll get in there later. They definitely like don't have any of the anniversary stuff anywhere else that we've seen. that they still have the vehicles coming down Main Street here. It's so cool. This is the only place I've ever actually ridden a vehicle up Main Street. So we're heading straight over to Hyperspace Mountain. So excited. Orbitron looks so nice with the sun shining on it there. The park actually is so beautiful at the moment, like with the sun, with the fact that it's been like clearly, you know, lots of things have been repainted. They have all the beautiful, statues out and stuff for the 30th celebration. Oh, love this ride. So we just ate at Space Mountain. I forgot how intense that was. <laughs> it was pretty mad. What do you think, Leanne? Fantastic. <laughs> you definitely get like shaked around, like my eyes and everything are watering after that. Um, but we're heading over to Big Thunder. So Amy actually <laughs> opted out of Space Mountain. <laughs> probably, probably made a good decision. <laughs> and she's actually gone on Big Thunder already because it only had a five minute wait. So we're gonna go join her and do that again. So far, a successful morning magic hours because um, all the rides seem to have like five, 10 minute wait. So really good. Except for if you wanna queue up and get some coffee. <laughs> that line looked about 30 minutes long. <laughs> so this is the extent of our queue for Big Thunder. Under, we're literally straight at the steps. It does take about five minutes though to walk through the queue. It's absolutely massive, it's like a maze. So we've asked for the back row in Big Thunder, which is the best row. Well, yeah, if you like a more intense down. ride. Ooh, you Sector 9. No doubt it's the work of that nefarious criminal, the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, the evil Emperor Zerg. Look, guys, it's Mickey and Minnie, and they're in their outfits for the 30th anniversary. <laughs> So we're just heading into McDonald's to get a little cheeky breakfast. We were looking to go somewhere in the parks, but there were just massive queues everywhere. So we figured we'd come in here, although this does look busy as well, and get, um, also, I mean, to be fair, I just love a McDonald's breakfast. So we went with a bacon, egg, and cheese McMuffin. They didn't have, uh, like, it's obviously a very different menu because it's the French menu, but they didn't have, like, sausage egg McMuffin. They only had this one or a beef one. And then I got a cappuccino, but I'm absolutely devastated. There's no hash browns. <laughs> and they didn't have, like, um, the meal deal didn't come with something else. Like, it was just your drink and your McMuffin. So there's literally a bird's nest <laughs> in the ceiling of the McDonald's, like, right above where we're, you know, we're seating our food and stuff. Um, I mean, there's at least like six or seven birds. They're all um, in the little slats up there and they're just like singing above our heads. But like, I've, oh my God. 
<laughs> oh, that's good. But I surely they must be like pooping. Like you can see some poop on the glass. You see poop on the glass over here? And poop on this glass. Oh my god. <laughs> so like they're just pooping where people are eating? That is not that's not good. That's not good. Oh my god. <laughs> that was on at 11 uh, so we're going to try and catch that show a bit later on but for now I think we're going to just have a little browse around the shops unfortunately we still can't get into the one that has all the 30th anniversary merchandise it's like a three hour queue right now it's outrageous so this is the shop that has that 30th merchandise stuff and yeah for the whole time we've been here the queue has just been absolutely massive we just checked again and it's like three hours so we're going to start off in the Emporium which is the shop just on the left hand side as you're coming down Main Street right at the start of Main Street this is a nice big store so we'll have a good look around it's so nice and warm in the stores it is absolutely freezing outside <laughs> it's so cold and especially when you go on the rides and stuff like Big Thunder Mountain <laughs> getting freezing cold air blast at you so uh yeah it's really nice to just pop into the stores and warm up a bit i definitely should have brought like some more cold weather stuff um but i think overall like it's not been too bad my friends bless them like they they've been freezing but i tend to like just be quite warm in general so you can see over here they've got these cute little outfits i haven't seen these before so they're disney numos and i guess you dress up Stitch, is that right? I assume you're dressing Stitch up or Angel. This is the first bit of Eternals merch I have seen. So they have this little packet of characters. 30 euro for this pack. They also have the Toy Story pack over here. Oh, and it's the new version as well that has Forky and stuff in it too. I was just admiring this jacket. It's quite nice. It's just got the little Disneyland Paris logo over here. It's 89.99, which isn't bad actually for a nice, big, thick jacket. Uh, it looks like it will be really comfortable. They have also the Disneyland Paris sweaters. I have one of these in grey I think but I really like this colour actually. I haven't seen this one before. And these are $45.99 which again I think is actually quite a decent price for uh, Disney merch like for a big jumper like a thick jumper. They've got the t-shirt version of it here as well and the t-shirt version is $25.99. It has that in red there as well. I really like this style of jumper. See it's got the stripes on the bottom and I love this colour the yellow as well. We were just saying like Grumpy's not really representing our personalities here so we kind of don't want to get the grumpy one but i'd love a different character in this color they do have a pluto one but the pluto one's more of like a brown i'll try and show you that later and this is 56 euro um i know i keep saying it but again i think that's actually quite a decent price they've got a couple of spare jerseys the plain black one and then they've got this kind of blue and green this color scheme they seem to have a lot you can see they've got some ears here as well and the spirit jerseys are 59.99 at the moment the ears as well are 22.99 so we're just heading into lily's boutique you can see they have a lot of the anniversary stuff like in the windows of some of the other shops too but they don't have the actual merchandise <laughs> in the shops it is just in that one that i showed you earlier um so i was actually eyeing up these pajamas over here you can see these stitch pajamas they're super soft and they've got pockets which is just everything you want in pajamas but um, they are quite expensive so it's 35 euro just for the bottoms the top is 30 so that's 65 euro then for the set oh but it's so soft now i know this range is old but i actually really like it i have the dopey mug and I did have the Mickey and Minnie Little Espresso Pups and I smashed the Mickey one in my move. So I think I'm gonna buy that one again. So we're just admiring this set. This is so, so nice. And I really like these glasses. They're only four euro. I think I might have to get a set of those as well. But I love the plates. Look, they've got like an espresso mug as well. And then this mug, like it's a small size compared to a lot of the Disney mugs. Like I do find some of the Disney mugs can be quite oversized. Whereas this is a nice small cup. Like if you do prefer a smaller cup for your tea or coffee. This espresso mug is eight euro. The plates over here are also eight euro, the smaller plates. And then the bigger plates are a 10 euro. I actually really like the little stand they've got them on, but I don't think they have that for sale anywhere. I haven't seen it anyway. 
these cereal bowls are 10 as well and then so are the pasta bowls and then I think the only other thing is the mug and the mug is 10 as well so yeah I just really like this set I think it's lovely but I think I'm really really tempted by the glasses and for four euro as well I also really like this little stacked set of bowls you can see it goes from like bigger to smaller and that's 30 euro but these look really nice like they look expensive they've got a casserole dish as well in a similar pattern and that is also 30 euro and then down here they've got a set of plates and that's 35 so yeah this is kind of a more expensive collection obviously but um it's really nice as well oh this mug is so nice too so this mug is 15. i love the gold handle with the black and then they do a sort of cream version with a gold yeah. handle like it's kind of more of a bronze yeah, than a gold okay, really oh, yeah. there's a a lovely big kid section then attached to this shop loads of stuff i love these pillows i still have my pillow that i used for oh these are different actually these aren't the ones that um what were those called oh i remember they were just like the thing to have i forget what those pillows were called where you'd like unzip them or not like they were put together with velcro what were those do you remember what those pillows were called the ones with the velcro on it and you open it out Pillow pets. Pillow pets. Is that it? I think so. Do I make that up? I have no idea. These are different though. Are these just pillows? They're like they're weighted. Does he smell like strawberries? No. Oh, I was wondering why you're both smelling them. <laughs> Look at this cute display up here. How cool is that? And the balloon. We're just checking out the menu for Casey's Corner. I was thinking they might be a possibility they'd have some corn dog nuggets or corn dogs, but they don't, um, which is a bit very American snack, so I totally understand why they don't have it. But they've got lots of different hot dogs. And look, for the 30th, they've actually got Mickey ice cream bars. I, I'm pretty sure I've never seen Mickey ice cream bars in Disneyland Paris. So although it's freezing, I'm so tempted to get one. I feel like I should get one of those like Anna hot chocolate. Maybe that'll balance each other out. <laughs> we have just made our way over to Frontierland, the Frontierland Theatre. So we're gonna head in to see Rhythms of the Pride Lands, which is the Lion King show here. I'm hoping we're able to get into it. Looks like they've just opened the door. So we're here about 10 minutes before the show and I imagine we're probably towards the back end of people that would be let in. Um, so we won't get like the best seat, but I don't really mind that to be honest. Oh, whoa, they're literally closing the doors behind us. <laughs> I think he was just trying to make everyone hurry up because the door is still open for now. Um, but yeah, this theater is really cool. I've never actually been in here before. It's massive. I'm excited to see the show. So do you have a premiere access ticket for this show? It's 15 euro ahead and you reserve a seat. But like, you know, we've just watched in five minutes before the show and got a seat all right, so that kind of seems like a bit of a waste of money to me. I'm sure if you reserved one of those seats, you're probably like in the center or something, but 15 year ahead is so steep. <laughs> recommend so so good it's still freezing 
Um, we are, I'm not actually sure what we're going to do right now. I think we might go maybe get another bit of food. That McDonald's breakfast didn't really fill us up very much. Um, it is a couple of hours since we had it now, but yeah, we're all feeling a bit hungry again. So I think we're going to just have a little wander around and yeah, maybe find somewhere to grab some lunch. But first we're going to stop in to the, what is it? Eureka Mining Supply Store and just have a little look and see what they have. Here we go. Oh, I quite like these bottles. They're very nice. That black one's lovely, isn't it? So it's 20 euro for those and they have the little lid and holder on them as well. I quite like the black one. I think that's really nice. Oh, they have lots of snacks. Can you believe I haven't had a single snack since I've been here yet? But it's just not acceptable. I need to up my game on snacks. So this store has some Big Thunder Mountain and also Phantom Manor merchandise. Oh look, they've got some Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise here. Quite a big section actually. They've got this really cool villain section in this store, which is nice. They've got this Maleficent mug. Really like this one. It is 17 euro for that one. And then they've got like books and everything. But I think the Ursula one's my favorite. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So nice. I assume that's the same. Yeah, 17 euro. It's just a good size as well. It's very important to get a good size mug. You know, you don't want it too big. <laughs> Your tea be going cold. <laughs> These are cool too. Oh, they've got t-shirts as well. Oh, I do like that. That kind of reminds me of our dancing days, Leanne. <laughs> with the like sparkles on it. Oh, look, they've got face masks. That's cool. And a bath fizzer. Oh, look, it's like a little cauldron bath fizzer. That's cool. And an eyeshadow palette. Oh my God. This is that whole Disney villains range. Oh, that's cool. How much is the eyeshadow palette? So 20 euro for the eyeshadow palette. So seven euro for the bath seltzer. And that t-shirt was 30. So this book here is actually a recipe book, which I'm super excited about. And it has quite a lot in it, let me show you. Petit déjeuner, so it has all like your breakfast recipes in here. Toast de Madame de Tremaine. Oh wow, look at this. How cool is this? Brioche au caramel de bouffon de roll. <laughs> My French is shocking, sorry guys. <laughs> It's only 25 euro. I think that's actually quite a bargain. My French is super basic, so I just don't think, I don't think I would get the value out of this, unfortunately, but uh, I think it's really cool. If your French is a bit better than mine, maybe, maybe you could do it. They have this like history book then as well. And this is, oh, history of villains. This is a massive one. That's 25 euro as well. That's a lot bigger. It's really nice. Then Les Mèches, Méchant, Les Méchants, and this is an anti-stress colouring book. Oh cool, that's only 12 90 that's really good. So I think we're actually gonna go to Earl of Sandwich again. <laughs> I just love it there so much. Uh, before we do, we're gonna stop off on the shops on the left-hand side, on this way down. We did all the ones on this side, as you'll have seen earlier on the way in, so we figured we might as well do these ones on the way out. I feel like this is where I might get some snacks for later as well. So we're gonna start off at Fine China Harrington's. Is that the name of the store? Harrington's. Oh yeah, this is the one that has like, oh, it's a really nice jewelry and the little art pieces and stuff. Oh yeah, and they do the glass blowing. How cool is that? I always think these are such a good price for how lovely they are. Like I think it's a really good present if you're looking to bring someone back a present from the park. You can see we've got Minnie here. Like these are all 20 euro, Mickey, Donald. Mickey again, I think that's Sorcerer Mickey, yeah. They're all just so nice. Oh, Oswald is so nice. Winnie the Pooh, you've got Simba, <laughs> we've just seen in the show. Genie, Chipmunk. Oh, look, that's so cute on the bench. So they have this display over here that has 30th anniversary glasses. Now, we might have just nipped the last few of um, two of the designs, but I'll show you those later. But yeah, this is the first like proper 30th merch that we've seen that's just out in an ordinary store. And like I say, we asked for two of the, like it's actually three different designs and uh, we've taken the last one. So um, they obviously don't have much of a stock of them, but it was really good to see them here. Like, and um, like I say, this is the first stuff that we've seen that isn't in that shop 
that you have to queue three hours for. So I'm telling you, they've got something that has the 30th on it. So they seem to have a lot of these ones, which have the like pink and purple design, but just not as many of the ones that have this kind of more uh, like white sort of silver clear design. You can see they've got loads over here as well. So most of these are 17 euro. So these ones are 19. And they have these like cookie jar type ones. So these are 30. Got Mickey ones and stuff as well. Going into Main Street Motors now. I always think you can find a few little different tops and stuff in here that you may not see elsewhere. I find a few things over the years. Oh, I like that. That's a nice things. jacket. That? That's only 55. That's quite a good price. A zip up one here, this is 56. Huh? You can see they've got the same spirit jerseys as we saw before, but they've also got this stripy one. And then they've got the Lion King jumper over here as well. So it's 60 for that jumper. That's stripy one. This is giving me cruise line vibes. It's very like the cruise line one. So it's the Paris flag colors. That's quite nice. But yeah, it's definitely giving me cruise line vibes. Same as the cruise line spirit jerseys that I've seen. I really like this villains jumper. And just like I said, I haven't seen this anywhere else. This is the Disneyland Paris collection. Um, Disney a Paris. Um, but it is a 50 euro for this. I think that's so nice. We've got a few other bits here, but guys, check this out. Check this coat out. It's a full, long, warm winter coat and it's got Maleficent here. It's good to be bad. Um, it is expensive, it is like 100 and 120 euro, but it's so nice. Look. We've just come back to downtown Disney and we're heading to Disney Fashion. I love this store. I feel like you can definitely find stuff in here that you don't see in other stores. So I always recommend coming in here if you're looking to pick up some clothes. They have a decent Lion King section over here. I'm quite tempted to get something Lion King themed just because we saw that amazing show. But I love this t-shirt. It's just that white for me is just, it's not really um, a good color for me in a t-shirt like and it's quite see-through as you can see. So I don't know. I do like the spirit jersey, but I just don't need the spirit jersey. And they have this one here with the tie on it, but uh, it's probably a little bit cropped for me, I think. So we're back in Earl of Sandwich. I've gone for the menu sandwich, which is basically like a, a meal deal where you get a hot sandwich, you get either crisps or a brownie or chips <laughs> um, and a soda fountain drink. Uh, but it looks like I think they're giving out bottles instead of the fountain drinks. They also then got their soup of the day, the tomato soup. Honestly, the tomato soup here is so, so good. I definitely recommend it if they have it. So we just had a bit of a chill back at the room. The girls actually had less of a chill and they went back over to Studios Park. And I think they've gone on a couple of rides, uh, but I just needed an extra little rest. Like my legs are killing me. <laughs> what have we done? I'm already on 19,000 steps today and uh, we've still got a bit to go. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I was able like for this evening. It's just like, it's a lot, isn't it? I feel like you have to be quite fit and like, you know, you have to have, you have to be really used to getting lots of steps in before you come to a Disney park because I always find it super tiring. But anyway, we're going to go into the Hotel New York again because we had such a fun time yesterday at the Skyline Bar. So I'm actually over here a bit earlier than them and I'm going to try and get in line again for five o'clock and see if we can get in again because we really enjoy the cocktails and we love the atmosphere and everything as well. So while we've got a bit of time to kill, I thought I would just show you guys like the outside of the hotel, the inside, like the lobby area and stuff. Let's start off with these big, giant statue things. <laughs> so over on the right hand side, right by the turn for Sequoia Lodge, we've got Captain Marvel. Now these are massive, like I don't feel like the camera does it justice, but I was actually shocked at how big they are. You can see the Hotel New York back there in the distance, but let's just walk on up. You can probably already catch a glimpse of our next one, which is Iron Man. And again, like I was just so blown away by how big these are. They're so impressive in person, like they're really big and the detailing on them is really good as well. I just think these are really impressive. I do feel like the hotel itself, 
I mean, it could do with a bit of a touch up on the outside, couldn't it? Like it still looks a bit, a bit boring, I have to say. I think they could have done something in this courtyard. They could have some more stuff like around the entrance. Um, I really am impressed with the statues, but I do think they could just do a bit more with the outside. That to say though, wait until we walk inside the doors because I was actually blown away when I went inside. Um, so I do just think it's the outside that still needs just a little bit of love. Now, to be fair, I don't know what the other side is, like the side you'd come in from a car, but I just feel like this entrance is quite underwhelming, you know? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. So here is Iron Man. How cool is Iron Man? It just looks amazing. And here he is, Black Panther. This one is also really cool. So here we go, we're gonna head on in to the hotel. Now you can let me know what you think, but I think <laughs> from outside in, there's definitely a big difference in terms of theming. Let's go. Look at this. It's so cool. I just love it. And it really actually does give New York vibes as well as Marvel. Do you know, like it really is Marvel and New York combined. Kind of has like a New York chic feel about it. And then obviously lots of Marvel theming thrown in there, but it's really, what's the word? Like it's really classy. Do you know what I mean? Like it's on the side of classy, chic theming as opposed to tacky and they're like i'm not against disney tacky like i love the bright colors and everything like that but there's just something really unique about the theme in here so this is the skyline bar you can see it's open from 5 to 1 a.m which i think is amazing <laughs> you never know we could end up having a wild night um our plan is to actually have a couple of cocktails and then head into the disneyland park because we want to see the nighttime show this evening but look Oh, I honestly just don't think the camera does it justice because these look amazing. These look like, like the real deal. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the movie looking at these suits in person. It's crazy. Yeah, I think the glass doesn't help like the reflection on the glass, but honestly, these are so cool. Then you can see over at reception, like they've got this um, what would you call this? It's like the New York Stock Exchange, you know, it has one of those um, screens that would normally show you like stock prices and things. Um, oh, I think we've just missed it now. It's just <laughs> going off to the side on the left there. So see, it says, Bienvenue au Disney's Hotel in New York. The art of Marvel. Isn't this so cool? And then in the background then, you've got these screens where they're showing you some Disney art. So down the side then of the Skyline Bar, they also have this lounge, which is a Bleecker Street Lounge. Now we haven't been in here yet, but this also looks really nice. And let's have a look at the menu and see if it's the same. You can see this is the lounge. We've got a little bar area there as well. Definitely think the Skyline Bar is nicer, but like I said, that doesn't open until five. So I guess the lounge is a better option then during the day. Well, it's your only option, <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I just love this place. I just think the theming is so good and it feels expensive, like it feels luxury. Don't know if it's coming across on camera, but honestly, I just think this place is so impressive. Okay, there's a lot of people starting to gather around the lobby, so I think I might just go hang around by the Skyline Bar. Oh, they've actually set up the official queue. Okay, I'm gonna hop in. So while we're waiting, we can have a little look at the menu. The writing is super small. Let me just get in there. But most of the cocktails seem to be about 16 euros. You can see there's, they actually have such a big menu, like there's loads, and they also do some non-alcoholic cocktails. They're about 12 euros. And then they've got some like iced coffees, some flavored lattes, and then they also do beers. They're about 7.50 for small, 10 for large it seems, and bottles about eight euro. They do whiskeys, gin, vodka, um, a really, really big menu. And then down here they've actually got some food. So they've got 
Um, it's kind of like, it's like bar food, isn't it? But um, they've got like beef jerky, crab cakes. Um, it sounds really nice. Like they've got a lobster brioche, I think somewhere. Yeah, toasted brioche with lobster. That's 20 euros. And the prices aren't outrageous as well. And then they also have a little dessert menu too. I've seen the really cool themed desserts from the buffet. That's not these now. Um, but you can actually, you know, get some desserts that sound quite nice. I mean, maybe we'll try one when we're in here now. Um, but the food does sound really good as well. I was really tempted yesterday, but we had plans to go to Rainforest Cafe, so we didn't get anything. So I'm actually the first person inside. And look at this place. It is so cool. You can see they have these screens in the background. Every now and then, like Spider-Man will just swing on by. gonna go with a very interesting looking martini that has bacon and egg white in it which just sounds crazy it's called the orange soul martini cocktail and our waiter recommended this one yesterday uh, yesterday we tried kind of more of the like signature superhero ones but I'm thinking I might try this one so it is Jack Daniels whiskey infused with bacon, orange juice, mango puree, egg white, and honey liqueur. And by the way, when you're coming in, the, um, there is a QR code to scan for the menu. I've just noticed, I think I have like mascara dripping down my face. <laughs> there is a menu that you can scan, like a QR code, but actually getting the menu up on the app is much easier. For some reason, the QR code just wasn't really working for us. So if you just go onto your Disneyland Paris app and then just navigate to the Skyline Bar and find the menu there, I think that works a lot better. So here are our cocktails. So I I've gone for the orange soul, uh, which has these like whiskey infused bacon bits. Then there's a mystic yellow over here with meringue on top. And then Amy's gone for the same uh, 30th anniversary cocktails yesterday, which thought it was amazing. So you actually get a spoon for eating this as well, so you can enjoy the meringue off the top. Guys, this drink is like rocket fuel. It's so strong. I don't recommend that drink. It's so strong. <laughs> Oh my god. It is it is nice though. It tastes like whiskey. It's very strong. the room now I'm actually just gonna go and have a shower so we just saw illuminations and also the brand new show that they have for the 30th anniversary and I was so blown away by the drones that they put up like I only got a few clips because you know I didn't want to stand there sort of filming the whole thing and um, I'm sure there's plenty of really good videos up on YouTube so if you want to see either of the shows you can just like search them on YouTube and stuff but uh yeah the drones when they came up and like did the 30th and then sort of like moved around and kind of like flipped over so you could really see the mickey shape and things oh i just thought it was so cool like it's really impressive and i don't think the videos and pictures and stuff do it justice it's so impressive in real life uh we also had cocktails as you saw at uh, skyline bar i think i i vlogged when i went in there yeah but we had two cocktails while we were there they're both really nice the girls have popped out to get us some food because we did stay until park closed and we hadn't eaten uh when we left the park everywhere was so busy like crazy out the door lines which is very typical for here at Paris like if you are trying to get food right after right after the park closes so uh, we actually came back here for an hour we had 
a little glass of Prosecco. And uh, honestly, I don't think I've ever drank this much at Disneyland Paris before. Like we had two cocktails earlier, we're having some Prosecco now, but it is a hen party. So, you know, we're just trying to get in the spirit of that as well. Um, my friend did have like a more extravagant hen party uh, with a wider group of people before her wedding that never happened. Uh, so this is kind of just a little small one, a little Disney one for us to do together. But yeah, so that hence why we've had a little bit more of a focus on like, socializing and having a few drinks and stuff. Uh, but those cocktails in Skyline Bar are amazing. Every single one of them was really good and they're really strong. Like they're definitely a good measure of alcohol for what you're paying for. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower. One thing I did wanna mention actually about the room, which has been really frustrating is the plug sockets. There is three of them. One of them's already gone out and this happened to me almost every time I've said it's quite large. One of the plug sockets has gone out. So we only have two plug sockets between the three of us, which as you can imagine is a bit of a struggle, like with phones and like camera equipment, all that sort of stuff. Trying to get everything charged up is a bit of a pain. And there's also no fridge. So we've kind of repurposed our sink uh, to be a cooler. So we basically got some ice in our ice bucket and um, we've got two beers and some Prosecco. Uh, so yeah, a bit of a random assortment. Uh, but yeah, taking the ice bucket out, filling that up and then just chucking that into your sink is a bit of a makeshift cooler if you do need to have one in the room. I'm pretty sure they used to have fridges right here and you can even see there's a plug socket back there. That's actually covered up as well so we can't use it. But yeah, that's I'm pretty sure there used to be fridges in these rooms, but there's not anymore. So we've just finished up eating our food. We got a massive McDonald's. <laughs> Honestly, probably the biggest McDonald's I've ever had. Except we got um apple pies like the dessert apple pies but they're not the same as the ones in that i've had like in america or in the uk or anything they're not crispy they're really odd actually they kind of taste like cardboard so we didn't have those <laughs> i just like dipped them in the caramel sauce and the sauce was really good but yeah i don't recommend the apple pies uh, everything else was lovely like the chicken nuggets were so fresh <laughs> there's nothing better than getting the freshest chicken nuggets from mcdonald's but anyway enough about our food um we had such a great day today i hope you guys have enjoyed following along and uh join me tomorrow for the last day here at disneyland paris we have pretty much a full day because our flight isn't until the evening and we have lots planned <laughs> we've literally got a list for our last day of things that we want to do before we go so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you then Bye.